All right, so we know the Gators are going to be good on defense, but Gator fans obviously uh, sick of being good. Four loss, <laughs> good. They want to be great, and the defense has been great. And now if the offense can be good and maybe the defense great, then you're talking – uh, seriously competing for the SEC championship in a playoff berth. So uh, the defense loses quite a bit. Uh, what, what are the question marks that need to be addressed in the next month? Uh, well, we got, we got to start with we lose. Uh, Gators lose T. Tabor, Quincy Wilson. So it looks like on the outside they're going to replace it with Duke Dawson, who played you know 95% nickel last year. And Chauncey Gardner, who played safety last year, will move to the other outside corner spot. So you got Duke Dawson and Chauncey Gardner. Chauncey Gardner probably your biggest playmaker uh, on defense after you saw what he could do in the Outback Bowl versus Penn State where he was the MVP. Uh, he had a you know, pick six return, so they'll f have him on the outside. He's athletic enough to play outside, but he'll that's where he'll start uh, this coming up season. So Duke Dawson, Chauncey Gardner, two of your stalwarts uh, already uh, for Chauncey Gardner, even as a sophomore. I mean, it, it, he's going to look good playing on the outside with Duke Dawson. So now I guess what you have to go into – if you're looking at Florida, is what do you do in that nickel position? You got Joseph Putu, MacArthur Bennett, Chris Williamson, Christopher McWilliams. All those guys for spring are, are there, but you know more than likely, if those guys can't get it done, Florida's waiting until the fall to, to this big freshman class that they got coming in to maybe fill that nickel position. But this is a good chance for those guys that I mentioned to make a name for themselves in spring and not have to worry about those freshmen uh, just quite yet. So, but also you got your, you know, your big time defensive line, CC Jefferson returning um, at, at defensive end. So he'll be asked to, to come on and make a bigger presence uh, this coming year. So it starts here uh, in, in fall camp, but, you know, Florida's got to find some depth along the, the, the defensive end behind C.C. Jefferson and Jordan Sherritt. You know, Kavanis Davis, Justice Reed, I mentioned last year, Jabari Zuniga was my breakout player, and, and that turned out to be to be the case. And can he put another spring together where he can come out and, and be a more consistent player? But also Antonius Clayton, a big-time true freshman last year, uh, who can elevate his game some more and be the, the playmaker there. So Florida's got to find some help uh, there. At a, a defensive at defensive end, I believe. But defensive tackle as well, that's the biggest position uh, of need right now for Florida. Behind Taven Bryan, Kerry Clark, you need some guys like Ja'Kai Polite, Luke Ankrum. Uh, you have early enrollee Kyrie Campbell as well uh, to come in and do that. But Florida's hurting for depth until they get the guys, um, the true freshmen, Elijah Conliffe and Tadaryl Slayton in that fall. So Florida, you know, not a lot of depth. So you don't want any injuries coming out of spring at defensive tackle. Uh, you know, so you got to be careful there uh, if you're Florida. But also linebacker. Uh, Florida lost um, Jerry Davis and Alex Anzalone. But we know we saw plenty of times last year, uh, especially late in the year, where these, line, these young linebackers came in and filled in admirably at the linebacker position. So, Fasan Joseph, Jeremiah Moon, David Reese, Kylan Johnson, they got four guys there that Florida can move in and out. That's how it's going to start there. So, uh, a lot of moving pieces on this defense to, to figure out how you're going to replace seven starters. But, Mark, as you said, you know, Florida is used to having good defenses the last couple years, elite defenses. Uh, it will still be a good defense. Florida always has a good defense, but they may need some more help from that offense this year. So, yeah, back to back division championships to um, Jim McElwain's credit, but uh, Florida fans and McElwain himself, of course, looking to break through and not lose those kind of games against Florida State and um, being run down by uh, the likes of Alabama and other teams in the SEC and trying to take that next step after finishing with a strong bowl win, top 15 status in the nation, take that next step, which to me, is maintaining the defensive. I don't know that you can get that much better on defense from what the defense has been the last couple of years, but maintaining top five status in defense, I don't care what the stats say. I would say that the defense has been top five in that range, but obviously offensive line improvement and quarterback play. And if you get that, then we're talking about a team that can compete uh, with uh, just about anybody in the nation. All right, Tuesday's the day they hit the field in Gainesville for spring practice. Uh, David Waters, uh, Gators Breakdown. You got to join him there on SoundCloud, iTunes, and also YouTube as well for Gators Breakdown. Uh, he keeps you posted on everything involving the Gators and uh, the SEC by extension. All right, David, we appreciate the time. Thanks, Mark.